today we are going, going to start a series of lectures uh, about the pathology of respiratory system right the first topic which i'm going to talk about is atelectasis that is the collapse of the part of a lung right or complete lung atelectasis it's a very simple topic we will only talk about its basic pathology now what is what is exactly atelectasis atelectasis is uh, when a part of a lung or a lung air spaces are deflated or they are inadequately inflated right and lung tissue collapses what is atelectasis atelectasis is a condition in which air spaces in the lung are inadequately expanded with the air right they are under aerated or they are not having enough air and due to loss of air or reduced amount of air in the air spaces in the lung right air spaces collapse right and there is loss of lung volume now why a part of lung will not have for example here is the lung and i make here very simple diagram let's suppose these are air spaces it's a very very simple diagram now air spaces which are basic normally they are full of air due to any reason either initially these air spaces do not expand adequately as in neonates and deficiency of surfactant is that right if they don't expand adequately naturally some of the alveoli will collapse and atelectasis will be there right in the same way in adults previously properly inflated air spaces in the lungs may undergo deflation may undergo deflation and produce some areas of lung parenchyma which are under aerated and collapse is that right now that collapse part of the lung right collapse part of the lung let's suppose in this area due to any reason this area undergo collapse what i will show that let's here the air spaces are collapse right so this area will be considered atelectatic right but this area is normal now when a small area in the lung or a even bigger area in the lung or sometimes a whole lung undergo collapse what complications can occur why this topic is important that is the most important thing we learn today that when a part of a lung undergo collapse what are the problems related with it let me explain it let's suppose here is your lung and i'm going to show three areas of lung suppose and let's suppose all of them are well ventilated and here is the right heart from where the blood is going right and now this blood is going to left heart right now as you know that in this area blood will get when blood is passing through pulmonary arteries through the pulmonary capillaries to the pulmonary veins right there is gas exchanges right and blood loses the carbon dioxide to the air spaces and acquires the oxygen so we say the blood the blood as it is moving from the pulmonary arteries to the pulmonary microcirculation right and eventually to the pulmonary veins draining into left front, left side of the heart during this process right if there is proper ventilation if there is proper 
ventilation right then the part of the blood which is passing nearby the air spaces right gas exchange occur and it becomes oxygenated that is the basic function now you imagine if a part of lung is collapsed suppose this part of the lung is collapsed if this part of the lung is collapsed it is atelectated it means air is unable to come here and this part of the lung is not participating in gas exchange it is not participating in gas exchange then whatever blood is passing through microcirculation of the atelectic part of the lung that blood is not getting properly oxygenated that part of the blood is not undergoing proper oxygenation so what will happen that part of the lungs which are normal right they will oxygenate the blood properly and part of the lung which are collapsed they will not oxygenate the blood properly so when blood is reaching to the left side of the heart it is under oxygenated right and that increases the risk of hypoxia this is one problem if there is significant what is there if we can use the word if there is significant atelectasis or collapse of lung or part of a lung that will result in atelectic collapsed lung which is hypoventilated which is hypoventilated so there is less ventilation perfusion is less reduced but ventilation is dramatically reduced in collapsed part of the lung ventilation is dramatically reduced but perfusion is slightly reduced so what happens that there is mismatch of ventilation perfusion in this area in collapsed part of the lung there is mismatch of ventilation perfusion normally there should be good ventilation and good perfusion ratio should be ventilation perfusion ratio should be almost near one is that right then gas exchange is efficient but in collapsed part of the lung as it is not having air or not having enough air so it cannot participate properly in gas exchanges so from this part of the lung whatever or this part of the collapsed part of the lung whatever blood flow is passing right it is under oxygenated and that may result into systemic hypoxia is that right this is one complication second complication or problem related with the atelectasis is that this part of parenchyma of lung which is inadequately expanded right here secretions accumulate secretions accumulate and there is a high predisposition for infections and there is a high predisposition for infection so these are the two problems so we can say that what is atelectasis atelectasis is a condition characterized by loss of loss of lung volume loss of lung volume due to inadequate expansion of the air spaces right number 1 number 2 what are the two most important complications related with atelectasis number 1 risk of hypoxia if there is significant atelectasis and number 2 there is increased risk of pulmonary infections these are the two complications due to this reason wherever possible atelectasis should be reversed promptly is that right now why atelectasis occur why sometimes some part of the lungs undergo collapse right i'm going to discuss in this lecture acquired atelectasis in adult is that right classically this is divided into three major categories resorption atelectasis compression atelectasis and contraction atelectasis let me explain first of all what is resorption atelectasis here is your beautiful lung 
and around the lung there must be pleura this is what is this is what type of pleura which is visceral pleura right and this outer pleura is parietal pleura and suppose from here the bronchial tree system is coming right upper middle lobe bronchus and lower lobe bronchus now what really happens in resorption atelectasis in resorption atelectasis the real problem is that one of the airways completely obstructed one of the airways completely obstructed let's suppose this airway is completely obstructed due to one or the other reason i will talk about causes later but first understand the mechanism what happens in resorption atelectasis that one of the airway smaller or larger due to some reason is completely obstructed remember partial obstruction does not produce atelectasis it must be complete obstruction if it is completely obstructed then what will happen that whatever the air spaces are distal to it do you think air will go there no, no. when air will not go there air is here right but it can, cannot go distally now whatever air is present previously in the distal dependent part of air spaces that air will be absorbed in circulation that air will be absorbed in circulation gradually now whatever air is present in this area that is absorbed into circulation but no more air is coming so what will happen this air spaces will collapse and this part of the lung will become atelectatic is it clear yes. because this atelex whenever there is complete obstruction of an airway whenever there is complete say complete loudly complete obstruction of an airway that may lead to reabsorption resorption atelectasis in the dependent distal air spaces as the air which was trapped there is reabsorbed by the blood and there is no more air coming into that area now here i want to tell you one thing that why i'm so much focusing on the complete obstruction because sometimes this partial obstruction but it may not produce atelectasis how 